What's up everyone, this is Cybernut, and today I thought I would do kind of a random opening for you guys, and I went on ahead and picked up both of the 2014 Mega Tens. So yeah, these are still uh, relatively cheap to get right now, I'm kind of surprised, because there's still some really good hollows in these, and of course you know you're guaranteed three hollows per pack, and with both tens, we have six packs here, and... Yeah, let's just see what we get. I, I mean, again, there's still a lot of, like, nostalgic cards in this, and still really playable cards, too, which, uh, you really can't go wrong with these Mega 10s. 2014 ones were really good. I think 2016 were also good, which, uh, yeah, that's the one with Odd Eyes and Dark Rebellion. I'm trying to think, whatever one of those are, I think it's 2016, and then the newest ones are good, too. So those are the ones I recommend, and you really can't go wrong with those Mega 10s. The other ones, like the 2017 ones, uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess if Zodiacs ever come back, those will be really good. That can change real quick. But, uh, let's see what we can get. And also, if you guys have any requests for future openings, let me know by, uh, leaving a comment down in, uh, well, just in, in the comments. Almost a description. Wow. <laughs> and, uh, just let me know what the openings you'd like to see. Pendulum summoning, if you need that explained to you. I forgot they had that in there. <laughs> it's kind of cool. But yeah, just let me know what the openings you'd like to see. If you want to see more Mega Tins or some kind of older pack or something, and I'll try to hunt it down. There we go. Here's one thing I do like about these tins, which is also kind of crazy, is, is this rarity. Like, I think it's extra secret. I, I forget exactly what it is. I don't know. It's it's so freaking shiny. But we have uh, Brother of the Fire Fist, uh, Tiger King. Then you also get Fire Fist Gorilla and number uh, 47. So yeah, the the like first promo cards they did for all these Mega Tins really weren't that great. I mean, if you, I guess if you wanted some hollows here and there, they were okay. But yeah, I'm glad they actually included like some... Some pretty good reprints and even new cards in the newer Mega Tens. Like, they got a lot better on that. And let's get to it. Like I said, you get three hollows per pack. Yeah, Baby Raccoon. Hadn't seen those in a while. It'd be cool for them to get something new. And uh, first off, we have Brother of Firefest Buffalo for a rare. Then we have uh, uh, Bujan Arasuda. Not bad. Hadn't seen those in a while either. I'm still surprised they haven't gotten a Link Monster, too. I don't know. <laughs> they should be added to that list, right? And, yeah, we have our secret air. It is Windrose, the Elemental Lord. Not the craziest Elemental Lord or secret air, but I'll still take it. Whatever. <laughs> and that, well, Hysteric Sign. That that actually makes up for it. Okay, that's a good super air to get. With the new Harpy Lady support and everything, I remember these uh, were getting really tough to find. It might have kind of, you know, mellowed out a little bit now, but either way, good card to get. So I'll take that. Yeah, Windrose, unfortunately, the Wind Monster does not get the best effect yet again. <laughs> Seems like that happens a lot. Wind Attribute. There we are. Well, at least we got a good Super Rare, though. Like I said, get the Harpy Lady cards. That's definitely good from this set. Another Spectre. <laughs> I still love that card. I want a Field Center of that, like a legit official one. Then we have Vampire Duke for a Rare. After that, Mermel uh, Abyss, uh, Abyss Berlin. Is that how you say that? I always forget. It's the whale. So, yeah. And we have Mistake. Not bad. I, that's a pretty good secret. I'll take that. Then also, uh, Bujingi uh, Pavlo. At least we got a pretty decent secret on that one. I'm trying to think what the best ones are from this one. I get this one confused with the like 2016 and 2015 Megatons. They kind of go together. I think this is the one with Drago Sack. We'll see. I think that's right. And maybe I'll get one. And uh, that can prove it for me. <laughs> Bujingi Crane. Then, oh, okay. <laughs> I kind of spoiled it. I wonder if I got it, actually, now I think about it. Rank Up Magic. And did I freaking get it? Oh, man. I was. I saw I saw an M. So I thought, you know, make a fan of Beast. But uh, we have uh, um, Melini of the Trees. So yeah, that's our <laughs> that's our secret rare. Man, I really thought that's what that was though, because being the monster thing, I was like, did I actually call it? I think it is in this set though. Uh, Fire Formation Yoko as well. Man, I thought we had it though. That was close. I think that was the the main card you want to get from this. Here, go throw those down. <laughs> that's gonna be loud. And let's see what we get from our other Mega Tune. All the plastic wrap they put on this. There we go. Well, there. All right. That pendulum summoning, 
<laughs> and uh, let's go ahead and get to our promo pack. All right, we have Bujinte Susano, then Bujini Crane, and then Archie Commander. Again, not really the best promos, but I still like how just crazy this rarity is. Just looks so funny. It, it makes it look like a fake card. Although the Odd Eyes and Dark Rebellion ones, I think, are a little crazier, even. Or they seem like it. What kind of blind you? Hey, Shark Fortress, not bad. Then we have a Breath of Fire Fist uh, Boar. After that, a Sylvan uh, Marshall Leaf. I remember when that was actually pretty tough to get. And Rainbow Karibo. Well, well, at least we got a Karibo, I guess, technically. Again, I remember when that one was kind of sought after a little bit, too. I think it was from Shadow Specters or something. That's been a while. And then Medulce Knights. Unfortunately, I don't think that's one of the Medulce cards people really look for. <laughs> Not that I remember. Still have two packs left. I'm not crazy. I think Excito Knight is also in this. Yeah, if they're Shadow Spectres, I think so. Maybe we'll get one of those. Well, first off, we have uh, Battle and Boxer. Then <laughs> we have a number 101 Silent Honor Arc. I remember that was actually a really good reprint from this, because this is around the time where this card was in everything. It was before Castell as well. So, yeah, that's actually pretty good. I'll take that. Oh, and we have Downer Magician. That is another good XC monster from this. That, you can't really go wrong with that one either. I remember that was another one that was sought after. Yeah, relatively pricey too back then. I think, you know, again, totally different. I think nowadays on a lot of these. And then for information, uh, uh, Gyo Gyoko? I don't know how you say that one. But uh, yeah, close enough. <laughs> We're just going to go with that. Keep seeing these XC monsters though, and I keep thinking we have like Draco Sack or like I said, Excidon Knight. But we do have one pack left. So there's a chance. Let's see. Can we end with a, a really good reprint? Rubber Genies and everything too. Make a fan of beasts, eh? Maybe that's a sign right there. Then we have Bujin Unity. Gauntlet Launcher. Eh, not too bad. Then we have Pot of Dichotomy. Well, <laughs> I remember what this was actually sought after too. It's another, you know, secret error pot card, basically, that we always get. You know, whether it's Desires, Dichotomy, uh, Extravagance. That's the name. I could not think of it because uh, the the name change they had for it. And then also Sylvan Bladefender. Well, uh, there we go. That's the opening. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, yeah, I think the second ten was actually a lot better than the first one. I mean, actually getting Dichotomy is pretty good. Again, way more useful back then. You don't really see it anymore nowadays. And uh, also uh, Downer and Magician, even number 101. I mean, I remember both of those being really good, you know, sought after cards from this too. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. And uh, yeah, just let me know what the openings you like to see in the future. Be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe, ring that bell so you don't miss out on future content. And of course I will. Catch you guys later. See ya.